Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing well and are safe at home being responsible. Today is Thanksgiving in America, or at least it's hopefully very close to it, and even though I left the country, I thought I would continue my tradition of vocalizing the things I'm thankful for. Usually it's to a smaller audience, but since everyone is so far away and so busy dealing with all this chaos, I figured I'd just put it here. So I'm going to be taking you for an early morning walk along the river and talking to you about all the things I'm thankful for this year. The first and most obvious thing I'm thankful for today is that I'm here. And I don't only mean alive, I also mean in England. Moving abroad has been something I knew I wanted to do since I was 15, and I just found one reason after another why it wasn't the right time. I'm thankful that I had one horrible experience after the other when I started graduate school in North Carolina, and then it finally got to be too much for even my optimism to conquer. If the people there had been nicer, if living there hadn't been full of surprisingly unpleasant experiences, and if I hadn't been completely disinterested in what I was studying and who I was studying that with, I would have stayed. And genuinely, truly, I only take time to emphasize how many things there sucked, because if they hadn't all been so bad and all been happening at once, I would have persevered. That's just what I do. I would have found a bright side if there was one even remotely visible, and I would have stayed. And I think that's something I need to stop trying to do. So I'm thankful that I learned to leave, because that motivated me to not only allow myself to leave behind what was hurting me, but also to leave behind a comfortable home for an aimless dream I've had in the back of my mind my entire adult life. I'm thankful that I have the support around me to be able to leave. I wasn't trapped in North Carolina, because when I called home in tears for the hundredth time and finally said, I just don't think this is worth it, the response I got was, then come home. My parents helped me move my entire life down to North Carolina, and they were proud of me for wanting to continue my education. But when, less than six months later, it turned out to be something I didn't want, they came and moved my entire life back up to New York without giving me any grief. I wasn't told to worry about money, I wasn't shamed for abandoning a graduate degree, and I wasn't given a conditional acceptance back to my childhood home. Then, when I wanted to move internationally without a career plan or even an idea of where I wanted to live, my parents said, Why don't you use our credit card to book the flights, because our company provides insurance on all travel bookings, just in case you need to change your plans. You can pay us back whenever you get the money. My grandparents said, Why don't you come live with us once you get here? And they provided me with yet another free place to live. My cousin and her boyfriend drove out of the way to pick me up from the airport in the middle of the day on a Thursday. And since I've been here, to my occasional frustration, my family has given me far more financial support than I deserve and not yet let me pay for anything of my own. This is the first time in my life that I haven't had a plan at least four months ahead of time. In all this ambiguity, I'm thankful that I've started noticing and getting to know people who are 10 or 15 years older than me, because they've really reassured me that that's okay. None of them fit the picture I had of a successful 30 or 40 year old, but they all seem happy, and are genuinely interesting, kind, unique people with a strong sense of self and a lot of resilience. They have everything they need and want in their lives, and they didn't get to that point by doing everything with relentless perfection, or by sticking to a plan without making any mistakes. As I move forward, I also look back on the past a lot, and I'm thankful that I've learned to do that in a healthy and productive way. I'm thankful because I truly don't have anything that I look back on and regret. 
Sometimes I cringe at myself, because <laughs> who doesn't? But when I'm not cringing and then laughing because of how silly I was, I'm either sighing in relief that it's over while appreciating what I've learned from it, or I'm looking back fondly on things that I know meant so much to me. I'm thankful that this year I have finally mastered the ability to stop myself from lingering on thoughts that hurt or make me angry. You know, when you think back to a time someone did something horrible to you and you replay it in your head, you think of how terrible they were, how genuinely you tried to do what you could, and then if you let it go on long enough you even start constructing different versions of it in your mind. Things you could have done or said to make it go differently. It sounds silly and simple, but I can finally recognize those thoughts within seconds of them coming up. And I can tell myself, no. You don't think about that anymore, because you've taken your lesson from it and it no longer serves you. It took me far too long to actually be able to achieve that, but I'm so thankful that I did. Getting away from heavier things, I'm thankful that I have the ability to do stuff like make this video, make calls internationally for free over the internet, and just keep up with everyone I care about so easily. I'm thankful I have all those people to contact in the first place, and I'm thankful that I take the time to actually do it. I'm thankful that vegan options are so amazing and convenient here, and I'm thankful that I've been able to keep that diet going because I know not everybody has the means to be so selective about their food, and the cause is one that's become pretty close to my heart, that I'm pretty proud of. I'm thankful I've started running again, even if only because it's reminded me to really breathe. I'm thankful for art, and the creations of other people that have made my heart smile, and I'm thankful for everything that has challenged me to keep learning. I'm thankful that even if I find 500 new people who don't like or understand me, I still manage to find one who does. I'm thankful that the peace and quiet of the countryside is never more than walking distance away, but neither are the cafes and shops. I'm thankful for the way the buildings and stone sidewalks here make me feel like the town is embracing me with every step I take. I'm thankful for warm meals on cold days. I'm thankful for books and stories, and I'm thankful for fireplaces and blankets. I'm thankful for the way the rain sounds and looks through the window as I'm tucked away indoors. I'm thankful that music, singing, and dancing are so fun and uplifting. I'm thankful for poetry and words with unique meanings. I'm thankful I'm even capable of reflecting and saying these things out loud because there was definitely a time when I wouldn't be so open about what I cared about. There was even a time I didn't know what I cared about. I guess I'm still working on those things, but I'm thankful for personal growth. What are you thankful for?